My name is Caroline Desiree Töpfer and uh, my blog Digitalisierung Jetzt is about digital transformation, especially focusing on the needs of German small and medium sized businesses. So I think there's no there's no like blueprint for the digital transformation of, of a small or medium sized company or even for the bigger ones. They they're still struggling, they still have problems because every company has to find its own way. It always depends on how many employees do you have, how many tech employees, how many computer scientists do you have in your teams, uh, how do teams communicate with each other, what about your IT infrastructure, do you have an IT infrastructure you bought 20 years ago and you update it regularly or did you just buy something sometime and then you never took care of it. So every company I work with has its own history, also when it comes to IT and to digitalization and its own future because we need to have a look at the business model at specific parts of the business model to make sure that they can have their sustainable strategy and to go a sustainable way, use digitalization, not just use it as like kind of event or some, some tool they use one day or one week and then never again, but they can, they can slightly go in, they can grow with this whole strategy and use the, the perfect infrastructure that fits. When we, when we talk, think about the smaller, the family-owned businesses, for example, in Germany or also in Switzerland and Austria, they don't have so much need and so much access to data centers at the moment because everything, if they use, for example, software as a service, um, that's a lot. That's a lot of digital input, digital tools in their, in their structures and their processes. But now when they think about getting more digital, using more digital tools, they come to this software as a service or infrastructure as a service discussion. And this also means very often that we discuss, do they want to have their own cloud? Do they want to host their own cloud on premise? Do they want to have their own data centers maybe? Do they want to build some hardware infrastructure? Or do they need a service provider they can choose, who can have the, the perfect certificates and DIN norms and whatever in place to, to work with them? to fit their needs so they can use some, somebody else's cloud, somebody else's computer in a data center. When we talk about the policy level, we always have like the facts, the fact part and the feelings. And this is also what I deal with like in my workshops or in my management trainings. When, when some, some strangers come to you and tell you want to talk about, for example, about the GDPR, about data protection, uh, especially people from the Nordics, they're like, yeah, of course, take my data, I have, I have no problem with that because I want to use your service, I want to be your customer. Also with the governments, they don't have a problem. Uh, when you talk to clients in Germany or to customers in Germany, they have a problem. Because first of all, every employee of the companies I work with, they see themselves as a customer. So they know that they give away data every day. And on the other side, they have to understand that they deal with data of their customers. So they are in different roles and different situations. And they also have the feeling that giving data away isn't like the best idea, especially elderly, like when they are in their 40s and their 50s, they have grown up with some demonstration about the government collecting data. So giving data away is still a big thing and it's a big discussion in the media, especially when the GDPR came up. So um, it's sometimes it's, you can show them what's possible on the fact side, on the hardware side, and also what's possible when you, when you talk about the EU regulation, but you also have to, have to manage the feelings side and really give them a good feeling giving their data away and also dealing with data of others. And this is the big problem. Like mo most, most customers, most clients I work with, they don't have a problem with like working with data. They have, they have really the problem with like, do I feel good when I work with other people's data? And do I feel good as an employee, for example, when I give all my data to my employer? Is that okay? Should, should it work like that? That's really interesting. You need to give people time, you know? People have to, especially on, on the job level, on, on the employee level, they have to learn about it, they have to hear about it, they have to learn about it, and they have to adapt it, they have to in, implement it in their processes. And just at the point when they have to implement something in their own processes and they have a digital process, they use a digital tool to maintain this process, then there is the point to have this cloud discussion and to maybe choose the German telecom hosted Microsoft Cloud, for example. But you have to give people time. They, they, most of this small and medium sized business, I think we have 2.5 million of this really, let's say, smaller businesses in Germany, they haven't taken the discussion about going into a cloud. Use, 
working with data protection in May, yeah. they might have this discussion like in three years, in five years, when they're really at the point of their digital strategy that, they, that they're really, like, let's say, ready from the knowledge they have to, to make this decision. So we need to wait. We need to be really careful with them, take good care, give them a lot of advice, and then wait until they make this decision. This whole data center economy is, is getting more and more important because the, the fun fact is that most, most people who are not in IT, who did not study computer science, who maybe never heard about data centers, they, they just think they type something in their computer and it's stored somewhere. <laughs> but I think at the DCD events, we, we look at this whole ecosystem from the other perspective. We, we look at the real deep tech and hardware perspective. and. Yeah. Um, we have the discussions from a, from a different, different point of view and maybe we're a little bit more in the future than the real customer who's using everything. Um, and I think the, the real interesting discussions are here because we are like 10 to 20 years before this evolution we have now in the market. So we have a lot of companies who just get digital now and start now, but we think about how can we maintain their data, how can we make offers to them when they are super digital in 10 to 20 years and they have a lot of data we need to store and we need to compute for them. Uh, I'm not just a digital strategy consultant, um, I'm also a hardware techie. So I, I study technical computer science next to my business. And I'm, I'm super interested, maybe I'm more interested in, in the hardware side of computing and technology than on the software side. So uh, for me, it's first of all really important to, to be here, to see all the different companies and all the new ones, startups are coming up in this field, but also um, network with all the people around. So there are a lot of interesting people, also um, managing directors from other companies who might face the, the same challenges from a different point of view. And that's really interesting for me and good to be around in Europe and, and meet all these people. I think it depends on what kind of business you want to do. Like I think for my consulting business, Germany is a good place because there are a lot of clients who might need this help. Yeah. Um, I'm also, I also have this office in the US, so uh, there we will we'll have some other products. So it will be more about like online courses and really like pushing businesses into digital, so a little bit like three to five years ahead maybe. <laughs> Um, and if you want to have the super digital business, then maybe it's a good idea to go to Estonia, get your EID and get your business set up. So I think it, it always depends on uh, where you're from, which markets do you know, what do you want to do in this market and how can you deal with the, these different setup strategies for your business.